Hi guys! I have so much candles from the keeping room to show you. Um, I have a combination of two orders that I've placed this month. Um, so without much ado, I'm going to go ahead and jump right in. I'm going to start with um, some of the like cuttables and jumbo tarts that I got in my free samples. Um, I got a little pie in lemon meringue and toasted marshmallow. And these are so cute. I believe they were like, they're three ounces ish, and they were three seventy five, maybe. Um, so they were a little bit more than even like a four ounce bag. But I just love how cute these little things are. So um, the filling is in lemon meringue, and the outside, like the um, crust part, is her toasted marshmallow. And I am like the biggest toasted marshmallow addict in the history of the world and in my last candles from the keeping room order I had gotten a sample um, she had sent me a sample of the lemon meringue um, and I loved it like I had melted it relatively recently and I really did like it um, so I wanted to get this tart I didn't want to like stock up on a ton of lemon scents because I have a lot of lemon right now from my um, first candle from the keeping room order but I thought this was like the perfect little um, like alternative to like another big bag or something um you get like a lemon it's like a bakery lemon it's not at all cleaner ish and it's really sweet and like the toasted marshmallow makes it extra 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 amazing so at some point i'm gonna like probably cut this in half and use half at a time um but i love it so much and it's so cute and uh i might just put a couple of the pies like out as decoration for a little while um, before I destroy them and melt them. So this next one I got another little um, pie in blueberry and toasted marshmallow. And I hadn't previously tried her blueberry scent but I like blueberry from um, most vendors that I've tried. And this is what this looks like. It's so cute. And again, the crust is the toasted marshmallow, and the inside part is just plain blueberry. And I like the toasted marshmallow part, obviously. <laughs> but um, her blueberry is very different than any other blueberry I think I've tried um, from other vendors. There's like almost a plasticky note to it so we'll have to see when this is melted um it's very cute so like i love that um but on cold throw i think i'm liking other vendors blueberry better then i got one donut in mango papaya and i thought i had ordered another donut in jelly donut but it must have like fallen out of my shopping cart because it wasn't on my receipt either even though I swear I put it in my shopping cart and um so it's like a little it's a it's a real life sized donut like oh there's such a again I'll always pop it into the video it's like a life sized donut like this is the size that like a real donut would be and this is such a good mango papaya scent. I had a scent shot of mango papaya from Candles by Victoria, and I couldn't smell anything, um, cold or warm. And I thought, like, I can't smell mango papaya. Something's wrong with my nose. But this one, I can smell it. It's so good. It's um, so fruity and juicy. And it's, like, such a nice blend of those two scents. I can definitely see myself reordering that. And then I decided to try a couple of these jumbo tarts. These are two ounces, I think, and they're $2. Um, this first one's a nectarine and honey. And I think they're in her, like some of her designer fragrances, and I wasn't familiar with these, so I felt like this was a good, safe, option that I don't get like a four ounce bag of something I would not in love with. 
And this nectarine and honey, I don't really get either a really nectarine note or a honey note. Um, they're really cute though. And they're larger than I thought they would be. Um, it smells like perfumey and kind of musky and then there is some kind of fruit in the background but it isn't what I would like think of when I think of nectarine. We'll try it warm and see how it is. This next one is Island Orchard. And I really enjoy this one. Um, it's like a really nice fruit medley. It's not like a fruit. It doesn't smell like fruit punch. It's not ju juicy in that way, like drinkish. It smells like an actual like basket of fruits. And like a lot of them are tropical but I think I'm getting like an apple note too. And I don't normally like apple, but I like it in this blend. Um, it's really nice. It's in like a nice fruit basket type scent. Okay, so then because there were two orders, I got two bags of freebies. And um, with my first order, I'm not sure if she like put the wrong bag of freebies in because I had requested a bunch of scents and like none of them were the things that I got. That's okay. But, um, and then like there were, there's like a lot of ones that are not at all from my nose. Like there's a lot of lavender blends and I'm totally allergic to lavender and they give me a headache. So this one's Lavender Noel Zucchini and this is like the least offensive to me. Um, you smell mostly the zucchini, but I'm not gonna melt that one. Then I got apple cream and lavender, which I smell a lot of lavender, and then like kind of like a spicy baked apple in the background. Then I got lemon lavender, which I do like lemon, but um, I don't like this blend. It's all right. They're free, you can't complain, right? Then she gave me a giant cuttable of fruit and spice. And this is really cute, but I don't like spice. Um, so this is gonna be given away to a friend. Well, it's going as well, actually. This is a really cute um, cinnamon roll shape, and it's so big. Um, like, but it's really spicy. I appreciate the freebies though. Oh, and then I got a sugar cookie latte, which I was interested in. And I'm getting a latte right now. I'm not really getting any sugar cookie, but I, I do like it. Um, I don't know, I don't know if I'd buy a big bag in it, but I'm glad that I have it to try. And then these, I, these are actually I was extremely excited about when I saw them in there. This is strawberry and toasted marshmallow, um, which I had wanted to order, but was sold out on the website when I got there. And oh my gosh, they're so, it's so cute. Like little baby strawberries in there. And it smells to die for. Um, I think this is her fresh picked strawberry scent, which is like the most authentic wax strawberry scent I've ever smelled. Like all the other vendors like Kales by Victoria have a fresh picked strawberry scent and it still smells like artificial strawberry. And don't get me wrong, I love artificial strawberry, but this is good too. Um, and it's a really great blend with the toasted marshmallow and so cute and I, I'm so thankful to have that one and then this is another one I wanted to buy but was sold out wild berry mousse and toasted marshmallow
And again, these are so adorable. And she said they're like really work intensive to make. There's like little, oh, that one's kind of fine, but little wax wild berries. And this is so good. It's like a really creamy berry scent and um, the toasted marshmallow. And the last thing in this bag was another lemon meringue and toasted marshmallow, which like I said, I loved. And um, I'm happy to have a second one of that. So that was one bag of freebies. And the second bag of freebies, um, she did include things that I had requested. Um, I don't think this was one of them, but it's creamy comfort. And it did go along with a lot of the things that I ordered, although I did order a four ounce bag of this and right now I'm just getting like a really sweet caramel scent out of that it's good then I got another sugar cookie latte which I talked about I just get latte um, sugar cookie brulee which I also ordered a four ounce bag in and it's like a really sweet candy-ish, creamy scent. This one's bamboo and white grapefruit. And it smells just like the candles by Victoria. Bamboo and white grapefruit. Um, it's a little floral, actually, and a little too green for my nose, but I'll probably try it anyway. This next one's sage and citrus. I don't think I like sage is what I'm learning because um, all I smell is what I assume is just the sage. It's like really earthy. Like it almost reminds me of patchouli, which I don't like. This was one of the ones I requested and it was hay sugar. And this one's really good. It's like a little bit like a light lemon with like a really like crystallized sugar rock candy type scent to it. Um, I could definitely see myself ordering hay sugar in the future. Then she sent vanilla wafer, which I had also ordered um, in a four ounce bag. And I'm just getting a vanilla scent right now. Maybe the, the like vanilla wafer type scent will come out more um, when I melt it. Then she sent this giant like heart and coffee latte zucchini. And it smells so good. I get mostly like a coffee note right now. Isn't that lovely? It's like this giant grubby heart. Like, I would say this is at least two ounces. Because, like, here it is compared to, like, the two ounce single. So, um, I really like that one. And then she sent me a cuttable, um, down at an ultimate bakery. Which I've tried from, or oh, I'm sorry, Ultimate Bakery Shop. I've tried Ultimate Bakery from Front Porch, and I like it. But I think I like this one better, because I'm not really getting any kind of a spice right now out of this. And again, it could totally change warm. But um, it's like this, ugh, I love going to the donut shop every once in a while and getting like a glazed French curler. Um, and it like, looks exactly like I want to bite this so badly. And it smells just like it's so sweet and sugary and doughy, like baked goodness without spice. Um, so I'm definitely going to melt this one. And I may need to order Ultimate Bakery Shop sometime in the near future. It's really great. So um, I'm going to go ahead and cut this video off here, and I will be back with my um, sampler packs. I have like a million, so that will probably be several videos, but 
Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you guys soon. Bye.